In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add annotations on the time series charts in Google Data Studio. So we're gonna join uh, this data from Google Analytics with uh, annotations data that uh, will be stored in the Google Sheet. First of all, we need to connect uh, the Google Analytics data source. To do it, I press Add Data, choose the Google Analytics connector and I will use the demo account of a Google Merchandise Store. Then I need to connect uh, the Google Sheet and I'm choosing the correct spreadsheet with the annotation data. Here's how uh, the file, uh, the spreadsheet looks like. Uh, mm, the first column is event date, the second is event and the third is category. Pay attention that you need to use a date field to join the data sources and the date field should be valid for Google Data Studio to correctly parse it. Other columns up to you. I'm connecting the Google Sheet. Uh, then I go to resources and to manage blended data. Uh, I press add data sources for the first one I'll choose uh, Google Analytics data. Dimensioned will be date and uh, metric will be commerce conversion rate. Uh, the second data source will be Google Analytics and uh, the join key will be event date and uh, I'll add uh, dimension category and another dimension will be event. Uh, here I um, choose event date and then I press save. Uh, then I um, press add a chart and then I'm choosing a time series chart. Data source I need to use annotations. Here I need to add event and uh, I need to choose count. Then we will need some kind of modification of this chart. Uh, I go to style and for the series 2 I choose bar and then axis I choose the right axis also I want to change the color the next thing that I will do is to apply filter for interactions and uh, I want to hide uh, the right axis labels and in order to do it I go to shape and rectangle and uh, the color of the rectangle should be the same as your background if I go to view you will see the our annotations uh, what I do as well I just uh, copy and paste the data source basically duplicate the data source and then I choose uh, the table and uh, change metrics and dimensions. So date in this case will be event date. Press a little pencil icon here and uh, add event date to the dimensions uh, as well and press save. Here I've swapped the dimension and choose the event date. I delete metric, also I add category and also event. Uh, if I right click on the chart I can resize columns, fit to data. Also I want to hide um, uh, the row numbers and slightly adjust the table. If I press view and click for instance uh, you will see that uh, the table below will filtered. It's quite a flexible tool. Uh, this can be useful not only with uh, Google Analytics data, but other data sources as well. If you're running a PPC ads, uh, it's also quite useful to log all your activities in Google Sheet, and then um, you can connect it to the chart and see how the changes affected your campaign performance for instance. I hope that this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about Data Studio and if you need help with Google Data Studio check the links in the description below.